Hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to another video. So, I recently noticed that nowadays extreme demons have been getting a lot of hate for how bad and ugly a lot of them are, and how they are relentlessly churned out for views. And those critiques aren't mistaken. However, I feel that we oftentimes look past the good extreme demons out there. So with this in mind, I compiled a list of 10 upcoming extreme demons that I am most excited about. Keep in mind this list is in no particular order and this is all my opinion. If you guys have any other thoughts on some upcoming extreme demons that you are excited to see out, I would honestly love to hear them, so feel free to tell me in the comments. Also, forgive my voice as I am a tad bit sick right now and my throat is quite scratchy at the moment. With all that said, let's just jump into it. First up I have A Nemesis, a recently previewed and lesser known upcoming extreme demon by a Thanatos remake by Lyman Moore. This level looks great so far, with all the decoration being really nice and well fitting. This level is a remake of the well-known extreme demon Athanatos, which I already said, is it's a really cool concept. It also comes with an extension, in which they did a great job of replicating the old gameplay style in the rest of the level. I also love the song, as it is definitely one of the best songs in the game. I just love the level of Athanatos in general, so this is definitely a guess for me. I'm not usually the biggest fan of level remakes, but they seem to really know what they're doing, and I'm really excited to see how this turns out. It all depends on how the next few parts in the level look, but I think Lime is turning out to be a great host, and he definitely knows what he's doing, and which people to include in the collab and not. According to Lime, all the parts are currently filled, so this shouldn't take that much longer to be completed. They did a great job of adding a fresh take on the hell style, and every part so far looks nothing short of incredible. All in all, this is a highly promising upcoming extreme demon that I personally am very excited for. Next up, we have Sonic Wave Infinity by the AP Team. Ah, the old legendary demon. We just can't seem to get enough of these remakes, can we? I'm just kidding, as this is by far the best remake of Sonic Wave we have ever seen. It is currently being remade by Zimnor due to criticism, but this level was, for the most part, completed and looks stunning. It is being verified by MyCrafted, and the buffs he made are insanely difficult. When this is verified, we can definitely expect it to be number one on the list. The majority of parts in this level look nothing short of incredible, but there are a few parts that could definitely be improved. Hopefully, Zim can touch up these parts before its official release. They did an excellent job of adapting the 9 circle style to the core style that the level is built in, and most of the wave structuring looks flashy, detailed, and dynamic. The transitions from part to part could definitely be worked on, but I know for a fact that Zim is fixing that up. This level definitely has a ton of potential, and when it is officially released, if Zim has done things right, it could be one of the best levels this game has ever seen. Before I conclude this though, we should just recognize the end screen, which is by far the best end screen I have ever seen in a level. It is extremely dynamic and it looks like something out of a movie. Tribar did a great job on this part of the level. Extremely hyped for this one, I hope Zim can fix it up soon, so it's truly a level to be remembered.
For my next one, I have the final level in the Legendary Dedication series, Anathema by Nicrodox and Blair's Wipe. This level has very mixed reviews, but that's why I love it and why I love Nicro levels. They are very bipolar, something you don't see often. Either you love it or you hate it, both the gameplay and the decoration. Personally, I love Nicrodox's gameplay and his decoration, and I am extremely hyped for this extreme demon. It aims to be number one on the list when verified according to Nicro, a task that will be falling to top player Rory. The song is also great, and the psychedelic rainbow designs that they drop really capture the song's essence. I'm not a super big fan of the two parts before the drop, as they use a lot of copy and paste, but the parts after the drop look stunning. The flowy effects are gorgeous, and the tropical trees of the modern designs look awesome. It really reminds me of something from the background of a lo-fi hip-hop video. There is still a long way to go for this level's decoration, however, so it may not be that close to its completion, but I think when completed this level will be stunning. Very excited about this one. For my next one, I have Galaxy Collapse by Trusta and more. The layout for this level just got previewed on Trusta's channel very recently, and it uses the iconic song Galaxy Collapse by Kuro Kote. It is extremely difficult, aiming to be number one on the list when verified. The full layout is almost completed, with 20 seconds needing to be built. Trusta has said that the layout is extremely hard but fun, and honestly, it looks like the kind of gameplay I would love as an extreme demon. The level will be decorated by a team of 16 creators, and 80% of the layout has been made by Trusta. Ilrel and Mezzo have made some gameplay at the drop, and Chase will be making the last part in the end art. There's not much to see of this project decoration-wise so far, but seeing how good WoW was decorated, I have faith in Trusta as a host. The part at the end looks like hell, with you having to do 32 clicks measured by a spam counter in 2.65 seconds, while also having to control your wave in a one block space. I don't even know who would be able to verify this beast of a level, but it's definitely something that I'm keeping my eye on. I am very hyped to see where this level will go, and I hope you guys are too.
For my next extreme, I will be looking at The Golden by Bo and Moore. I am honestly in love with this level. This is a remake of El Dorado by Ancient Anubis, and I absolutely adore it. The jungle theme is super unique and well executed, and all the decoration looks great. The sync is incredible, and the gameplay looks super fun for a top 3. All the parts do a great job of fitting together, and the layout has a lot of energy. The song is awesome, and it definitely adds to the atmosphere of the level. The sync on the waves is super nice to watch, and I can tell it would be super satisfying to play. The creators did an excellent job of capturing the essence of the original El Dorado. Speaking of El Dorado, here's a fun fact. El Dorado translates to the Golden in English, which makes the name of the level make perfect sense. What they did with the name is really cool, and overall I think this is an extremely underrated upcoming extreme. I believe Bo is still verifying it, as if what I have heard is correct, it went from Bo to Skyjacks back to Bo, but don't quote me on that. Hopefully we can see this level out soon and it doesn't die, as it would be really be a shame for such an awesome extreme. For my next level, I have the sequel to Ancestral Calamity, Abyssal Extinction by G and Moore. This level is gorgeous. Every part fits together so far, and the gameplay looks awesome, though I can't tell if it would actually be fun to play or not. This level also uses one of my favorite songs in existence, Raw Unfiltered Calamity by DM Dokuro for the official Calamity soundtrack. The sync is excellent, and they did a great job as it is a really hard song to make gameplay for in the game. Though extremely object heavy, this level is a masterpiece. A cool thing about this level is how Nobble Boy has a part in it, which is something that you don't usually see. I guess it is because G and Nob are friends, and Nob loves the Calamity music. When I see his part, I can remember that he can actually decorate really well. The colors in this level are beautiful, and I love how every part sticks to the same general color scheme, but it does its own thing with it. For example, Slim Jim's part throws red and purple scheme out of the water, making a blue and yellow part with red flashes. Marwak's part has a very desaturated red-orange, and G's part has a pink, purple, red-orange, and yellow color scheme. The ending art could be worked on, but I'm sure before they release the level they will touch it up a bit. All in all, this level is stunning, and I'm super hyped for its release.
Up next, I have Lucid Chaos, Kyro X's new Demon Mega Collab. So far, we have only seen his part in the full gameplay of this level, but this is definitely some of his best decoration yet, and the gameplay and song choice is awesome. I don't actually know if this level has anything to do with Lucid Nightmares, but I would assume it's in some way related. The layout is very dynamic, and the sync is excellent. It looks extremely fun, and the duels are awesome. If I was skilled enough, this would definitely be a level on my radar to try out. Cairo has definitely been improving in the gameplay department, with Concave Memories having significantly be better gameplay than Lucid Nightmares. There, unfortunately, isn't much to talk about decoration-wise, but this does look like a really promising level so far, and I want to see where it goes. Definitely a level worth keeping an eye on, very hyped for its release. For my next extreme, I have the level that is the decoration of Korean player Temp's famous high score layout, New Record. This is a mega collab that has recently been previewed on Temp's channel, and it's looking really nice so far. Temp's part looks excellent, and it's definitely some of my favorite decoration by him. This is a really hard layout to decorate, and so far the team is doing a really nice job. Of course, the layout is synced extremely well, and the only complaints I have with it are some of the sections near the end. All in all, the, all the parts look great, however, the rainbow flashy part could be improved. I really like how dynamic Hybrid's part is, and though I don't usually like Zafkill's decoration, his part in this looks really nice so far. All in all, this is definitely an extreme to get hyped for, and I will be trying it out when it gets released. Up next is the final and third level in the legendary Colkian series, Caliber by Zephyrox and Darwin. This is the sequel to Zafkiel and Catalyze in the final level in the trilogy. Darwin made the original Zafkiel in early 2.1, and Zephyrox made Catalyze in mid 2.1, so it's super cool to see the two creators come together and now make the final level near the end of 2.1. The level is only a layout right now, but is supposedly being decorated as we speak. Knowing that these two creators are very used to the creating process, I don't think that we will have to put this off for much longer. I don't know if they will preview the level before they release it, but I truly believe that they are working hard. The layout that is out now is sort of a draft of the final version, but it looks really good so far. They did a great job of recreating both Darwin's, Darwin's Zafikil gameplay style and Zeph's Catalyze style gameplay. Coupled with the song, this layout feels like a sequel to the first two levels, and it's really nice. All the waves look awesome, and the sync is really good. 
The gameplay looks super fun too, and if I had the skill, I'd definitely go for it. The layout looks very promising, with these two great creators in the job, I feel like we have a really good level in the store for us. Hope you guys are as hyped for this as I am. Lastly on this list, we have the unofficial knockoff Coretta, Wasuretta by Crazen and more. Wasuretta looks like a really fun level, with fast paced 4x speed spammy gameplay. The level is only 55 seconds, following suit with the medium length of Coretta, and it aims to be a dark purple and black level. It is supposed to be a top 10 extreme, and it will be verified by technical. The song is super unique, and the decoration so far looks gorgeous. I love the way this project is turning out, and since it's been a while since the first decoration preview, we hopefully won't have to wait long until this great level is finished. We have a good verifier in the name of Technical, and if worse comes to worse we have Crazy to beat it again, as he has already verified the layout. I think this level seems very interesting and promising so far, and I am super hyped for it. It all depends on how the next few parts turn out, but I think Crazy is selecting participants very carefully, so I don't think the level will be ruined by any means. Overall, this is a very good upcoming extreme to be hyped for. Hey guys, thank you all so much for watching, I hope you enjoyed. Sorry that this video is not of the quality of some of my other uploads, I've just been working really hard on a few other projects that are taking a bit longer than expected. Again, if you guys have any thoughts on some upcoming extremes you're hyped for, make sure to tell me in the comments. Also be sure to tell me which levels here you agree and disagree with. See you guys in the next video!